Hey guys, today we're gonna to be taking a look at the Pegasi light therapy glasses. I've got them here. So we'll go ahead and unbox them, see what you get, and then we'll get into whether or not they're worth getting or if there's better options. Here are the Pegasi glasses. Then we just get a fold-up case charging cable, and instructions. All right, so here are the glasses. They're kind of like if the AO and the Retimers had a baby. The spectrum is very similar to the Retimer glasses, but the form factor is very similar to the AO. And you can see they're, they're really, really similar design. They have an adjustable nose piece. They have a power button on the side and they have an emission area on top of each eye. They illuminate similar to the Retimer glasses in that it's kind of a green turquoise light rather than a blue or a white, but they're just a little bit greener than the Retimers. Now, I'll tell you right off the bat, I'm not a big fan of these for a couple of reasons. They're a little dim for a light therapy device, which we'll show you later when we go over the testing we did. And the nose piece is just really big. I've worn these for about a week now just to try them out. It's just annoying. I never get used to it. It's just, you can always see this big honking thing. just like always in your peripheral vision. If you were to compare that to the AOs, for example, where they have this really small, kind of almost clear, like I, I can't even tell, I can't see it on my nose. Yeah, other than that, they look cool. They're, they've got a cool futuristic look to them. They're, they might be one of the better looking light therapy glasses. So if you're kind of self-conscious about using these in public, maybe this is a good option just because they're kind of cool looking. Other than this, again, other than this thing, they do use a micro USB right here. Not crazy about this. I like USB-C more and I also just feel like I'm gonna break this thing eventually, trying to rip it out. They weigh about 50 grams, just a little bit more than they claim that they weigh. They, they claim like 47 grams, so I'm a little suspicious about that. They're a bit heavier than the AOs. The AOs are like 30 something, 35, I can't remember. Now, session times are anywhere from 20 to 40 minutes. They last for like 15 to 20 sessions, whereas these only last for like six or seven sessions. Now, the reason you get so many sessions out of these while they're the same size is because they're just weak. They're just very dim uh, compared to basically all the other glasses that I've tested, and we'll show you that. Now, the Pegasi does come with its own case, but it's kind of cheap. It's literally just meant for eyeglasses. So it's this kind of fold up style, kind of flimsy. They do fit in there, not amazingly well, but it works. Now, of course, you compare that to the AO case, which is very, you know, it's a very sturdy case. You're not gonna bust this thing. They're about the same size, so it's not bad but it's not really purpose built, so there's that. Now the Pegasi is controlled either by the power button here, which will turn on the last selected power level, but in order to change that, where there are three settings, you need to use the app. The app is called Pegasi Sleep, and it's available on the iOS app store. If you look at it, you'll notice that it does not have very good ratings. However, it seems to work just fine for me. So when you open up the app, you're gonna see sleep status. This just gives you the option to take a Pittsburgh sleep quality index questionnaire. They don't you know, pull any data from Apple Health or any health devices or anything like that. Under me, you're gonna be able to add your glasses. Some people have complained that they're not able to do that. I was able to do it no problem. Now under better sleep, that's where you can either access the jet lag calculator, which is kind of cool, but it's, you know, it's rather simple. And you can start it from the app or you can go to more sessions and you can change to strong or mild. Now I would recommend if you have these to change it to strong and leave it on strong because the Pegasi are rather weak and so you wanna just use strong and you probably wanna use it twice in a row. So yeah, from there, you don't really need the app anymore. You can just select the power button and it's just going to automatically begin your 20 minute session and it's going to just stay that way. It's smart, but in my opinion, it's kind of like, uh, well, it's kind of stupid. So that's the app. So for testing, of course, 
We got Henry here. We have a lab grade spectrometer on this. So we are able to see and compare the glasses to other glasses. So in our testing, we saw that we got to emit a narrow band turquoise green light peaking at about 505 nanometers, which is about four nanometers greener than the retimers at 501. They emit a lux of anywhere from 125 to 220, which is just a bit more than the AOs, but the total energy output is much lower than all of the other glasses. I'm gonna throw up a comparison to just the retimers just to show you. Uh, the retimers aren't my favorite, but to illustrate just how weak these are in comparison, you'll see that even on the highest setting, they're less than half as powerful. And that's why you get, of course, 15 to 20 sessions out of them because they're just not outputting very much energy total. Technically, at the highest brightness setting, you can get an effective dose out of these. So they will work if you're looking for a non-blue, cool-looking light therapy glasses. These will work. For the price though, I think the AO or the Luminet would be a better option. The AO is lighter. I found it visually more comfortable and it is more effective for around the same price point. And the Luminet is just a lot brighter than this, a lot more effective than this. Um, it does emit Bluetooth radiation, whereas this one does not during use. So again, I have other videos on, on those if you wanna check them out. Yeah, overall, I'm just not a big fan of it. Again, I recommend any of the other ones. It is a pleasant light, it looks cool, it's technically effective, though I recommend absolutely using the 20 minute session setting because it's it's still lacking, as you saw in the in the graph, comparing it to the retimer glasses. And even the retimers aren't as good as the AO and the Luminet, in my opinion. It's just for the money, there's better options. So I would pass on these, all right? If you guys liked the video, if you could actually like it and subscribe if you wanna see more stuff, that'd be cool. Thanks, bye.